Science has finally figured out a way to cure deafness, to give hearing to those that cannot hear. Yet, somehow, that is problematic. Somehow. And we'll, we'll go through that mental gymnastics here. That's why I'm really talking about this. I like absurd stuff, okay? I'm Mr. Deadman of Deadman's Tome, Mr. Deadman DT channel, obviously. Duh, you're on this channel. I don't know why. Everyone does that on YouTube. You're on the channel. You know. Anyway. Yeah, this is so strange to me, but it's real. Uh, using a, a gene editing tool called CRISPR, which you've probably heard before, CRISPR 2.0, they can actually reverse hereditary deafness in people with a single injection. If you're, if you're born with a gene that causes deafness, uh, TMC1, they can put an injection in you that will reverse that, and then you can start hearing. So, sure, yeah, I guess it comes with a... The, the, the negative, I guess, is that now you finally get to have to hear your parents get on to you or finally have to hear uh, everyone talk about uh, politics stuff that, that you know annoys you. But you also get to listen to music, and there's some good music out there. I know there's some crap, lots of crap out there. You know? But that's not the negative stuff. That's not the negative side of this. No, the, the negative side of this somehow is, and I don't get this, is that seeing deafness, seeing deafness through the uh, lens of the medical view or medical model as something to fix, as something that's impaired, that needs to be fixed or corrected, uh, is offensive and implies that any deviation from the normal uh, needs to be rooted out. Using strong language, Deviation from normal needs to be rooted out. Well, there is a, an average or a, a, a norm. Deviation as in, um, like, genetic defects. Uh, we're not saying root it out. We're saying we can help you fix those defects. Uh, and, and they are defects. And that doesn't... That's not a negative thing. That doesn't come with any sort of stigma not unless you you know not unless you really think that anyway like when you say someone's deaf all it means is that you know they, they can't hear okay well let's give them hearing let's see if we can fix that oh I don't want to fix what 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 do you mean you don't want to fix I I I have difficulty processing that right now. You know, it's like in this, and it, 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 these, <laughs> you have people that claim that they're deaf to say that they don't see themselves as someone that needs to be fixed and they, they would refuse to take it. Okay, sure, fine, fine. I don't think they speak for all. I know that for a fact, they don't speak for all. There, there's not one person that speaks for all for, for their whole group, you know? Um, but they, see, they say that we need to look at this through a social model. But what, what does that mean? What does that mean? That being deaf is part of the identity. Part of their identity. Okay. And they, they become a minority group because of that identity. Uh, so you'd rather be in a minority group than have hearing? Something There's some disconnect there. So you'd rather have minority status as uh, disabled and get disability money because that's what you're doing, right? Uh, instead of getting cured, right? I have a funny feeling that there's money behind this, this, this weird logic because there's a whole industry. It might not seem all that lucrative, but where there's an industry in assisting and helping those that have disabilities, where there's money in that, they don't want to lose their, their jobs. They don't want things to change because that affects them. And if you look into it, I mean, you do see groups like American Sign Language and, uh, sorry, sorry, you do see uh, universities that are, they have special, special classes, special classes geared around deafness geared around so that people that are deaf can have their education. Well, that's money. I mean, if, 
if this cure goes out there and everybody can opt for it, I mean, they, they lose their they lose their students. I mean, it might sound like a wild theory. But I don't think so. I really don't think so. Because you're, you're going to tell me that people uh, just want to stay disabled. And some of us say, oh, Mr. Demi, you don't understand. See, you're using the word disabled like it's a bad thing. I mean, literally, they, they are, though. I mean, they have, a, like, a disability, and they just can get that fixed with, like, little injection are they are they afraid of like the side effects of it okay that's reasonable but if they are like no i'd rather just be disabled so i can get my ssi money or whatever then and have my minority status that is weird bro that's weird <laughs> anyway yeah uh let me know what you think about this all right i like i like these uh absurd topics because they really show how, how some people were so willing to cling on to victimhood status. No, no matter what. No matter what. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway. Y'all take it easy.